Hello and welcome back to another episode of Primal Dino, the dino list that I'm using at the moment, the current one, if this is the first episode you're seeing. What a nail biter against Mono Red, my goodness. Uh, just a couple changes to go over from the previous episode before we get into the match. Uh, switched Rampaging Ferocidon with Death Gorge Scavenger, and we got three Carnage Tyrant, a single of Urabrask. That space was made by putting Inscription of Abundance into the sideboard. Other than that, nothing really major, so we'll get right into it. There is going to be a little post-game recap analysis, trying out something different, so stick around for that, because ooh, this is a close one, for sure. Yikes. Ooh, that looks uh, pretty good. Pretty good for sure with two Marauding Raptors. I think we're going to keep that. No matter what they have, hopefully we have a good chance of one Marauding Raptor at least sticking around. But, yikes, it's looking like Mono Red Aggro. This could go downhill pretty quick. Might as well just get that stomping ground down. Anger of the Gods certainly for game two. Um game three if it goes to that oh yeah definitely okay well let's get some dinos going cross our fingers that marauding raptor lives but certainly don't have the highest hopes if it was a no tepec hunt master that would probably be dead but they're running low on lands. Ooh, that is good for us. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll go with Timber Crown. We'll go the second Marauding. And then we'll go with Ripjaw, drawing two cards for two green, being left with a 4-5. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. You may have seen that happen before. That's probably one of my favorite lines of play right there. Likely hard for the opponent to recover from this, I'd imagine. Yeah, we got Galta. That's pretty exciting. Pretty good chance we'll get her next turn. If not, you know, we got a lot of good stuff. Definitely. Especially with a deck like this, um, and you have Ripjaw out, it's a good chance they're not attacking into that if we didn't have anything else. But we do, so we're going with the big bad, Galta. Will they just concede right here? That is the question. Hmm. Bam. There we go. Okay, yeah, that is not quite going to do it for us. I mean, it's nice finally seeing Urabrask for once, but yeah, it's rough. It's tempting seeing Anger of the Gods, but I think we, we got them. Oh, well, there we go. Beautiful, fantastic, exactly what we want to see. Yeah, I think sending Regisaur to the bottom should be right. Seems right. Oh, this is... I'm excited. I'm excited. I hope you are, because Anger of the Gods coming up. I think that's going to work pretty nice. Hopefully we can get a bunch of value. They definitely aren't expecting an Anger of the Gods, so maybe they overcommit a little bit too much. See how it goes. If anything, I could see them killing Marauding Raptor, which is going to die at some point from Anger of the Gods anyways. Ooh, okay. So in a way, they just technically threw away that removal since, yeah, Marauding Raptor was going to die, but, but we won't use Anger quite yet. That's not quite the value I'm looking to get from it.
man, they're just not playing any creatures whatsoever. Maybe they switch to more just straight up burn. Hit in the face. Oh, yeah, okay, well. This is rough. Oh, they don't have anything to sac any mana up to sacrifice Bowmat Courier. So I think what we gotta do is just kill it. That's still pretty decent, I mean. Now they don't have all those cards. Might be it for us though. What's up, baby? Certainly get down that rip job, be able to block whatever they play. Hopefully we draw another Anger of the Gods, but it's looking rough. It's looking rough. Um, I think not. Oh, okay. So, not another Anger of the Gods, but... Still looking all right. I think we can make this work. Definitely get down another rip jaw. Maximize the chances that we'll draw that anger of the gods, which I think is going to be pretty debilitating for the opponent. Ooh, okay, well, still... No anger of the gods, but we got some good stuff. Marauding, shifting. Ooh, yikes, okay. Ah, all right, Shifting Ceratops, Rampaging Ferocidon. And we're still looking pretty good, pretty good. We're still quite low. I want to hold everybody back. What is he doing? Oh, oh no. 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 This did not happen. No. no. Hopefully they don't have a shock. Yikes. Oh, there we go. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Oh, yeah, that is not going to do it for us. Oh, much better. Much, much better. Okay, good. Um, actually, I think we dropped the forest. We want to make sure we have two sources of red for anger of the gods if we draw it. Hopefully we draw it. That's looking pretty good. If we can get Ripjaw next turn, yikes. It's going to make the opponent's life uh, not too good. Would be nice taking out the Thermo Alchemist before they can really get some pretty nice value from that. Ooh, that is some pretty sweet damage, but they're certainly never going to attack while Ripjaw's out. So, ooh, Galta, well, 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 well. Ah, that is interesting. I say we go with Commune now, actually. Dig for our third land, or fourth land, I should say, and play Shifting Ceratops. Good to go. Or actually, Ripjaw. Ripjaw would be better in this case. Then next turn, Galta, and yeah, that'd be pretty fantastic.
Ooh. Wonderful. We got rid of the Bomat Courier. Getting closer to an anger of the gods, but it's looking like it's going in our favor here. Oh, another channeler. How much they got? Oh, they got three different kinds of stuff. Oh, there's the Pyromancer. Okay, yeah, so we're really needing that uh, anger of the gods for sure. Huh, that is interesting. I think we still probably should just go with Galta. Then we'll swing with Marauding and both Rip Jaws. They'll have to block with something. Otherwise, that's lethal. They die. Yeah, let's do that. That's okay, yeah. And, hey, they're pretty low. This is going to be... Oh, there's an Anger of the Gods, but got some good stuff. That's how it goes. Pretty sneaky. Mono red. Yikes. Alrighty, here we go with a little post game analysis. That was rough. As you can see, unfortunately, it was a loss, but pretty close. A couple things I feel would have gone or helped us out better. Switching rampaging for Death Gorge just to eat some stuff in their graveyard, also gain some life would have been pretty fantastic and then inscription of abundance in place of galta i think would have also been pretty good removing some of their threats uh, gaining life we get to five mana that's pretty fantastic as well uh, if we're able to do all three and of course we're able to gain the life since rampaging is switched out for death gorge so I think uh, just those few changes might have tipped the scales in our favor. But yeah, hopefully you like this little post-game analysis. If you enjoy it, leave a comment and we'll see you next time.